what some call art, others say is a crime. Graffiti, street art, and contemporary murals. No matter where you may be in the streets of Adelaide CBD, it is more than likely you have come across one of the three. But are these acts of vandalism a burden on the image of Australia, or do they really play a vital role in enriching the culture of Adelaide street life? Archaeologists say that graffiti is nothing new in society, dating as far back as 30,000 years ago when early humans made the first cave paintings, and later became a prominent role in piecing together what life was like in ancient civilizations like Egypt and Rome. History repeats itself in today's world where the youth of commonly urban areas use the city as their canvas to show off their passion for street art. In most cases, artists are commissioned by building owners and artist programs to design sky-high colourful murals to decorate the lesser known laneways and buildings, even being used as a selling point and a tourist attraction at the entrances of various popular clubs around Hindley. But on the other side of the spectrum, is Adelaide's destructive vandalism problem. Tags aboard public transport and sewage pipes, stickers placed on signs, and carvings made into parkland trees. On the surface, it may seem like nothing more than a common misdemeanor, but each year it is estimated that more than $20 million is spent on cleanup costs in South Australia alone, and a charge of up to one year jail time if caught in the act. It's absolutely disgusting. I don't need my kids being influenced by this sort of gang imagery and bad behaviour. I say the state police round them all up and put them away. Well, that's not the way I see it. To me, graffiti is all about self-expression. Even if it's just a tag on the backside of a bus seat, who actually gives a shit? Why are people surprised when we live in the festival state of Australia, where events are literally held here to celebrate this exact thing, self-expression? The problem lies in the public's negative opinion of common graffiti being presented as a plague that's infecting the city, when in reality, if not done on privately owned property, it causes no harm to anyone. We sat down with a member of the Adelaide City Council to view their stance on the matter. The City of Adelaide's public realm team do a fantastic job of keeping the CBD and parklands clean. Authorised Street Art is part of the City of Adelaide's vision for a vibrant and livable city. Adelaide has even introduced newly designed areas where artists can do graffiti without running the risk of being arrested. The City Council has recognised the cultural impact graffiti has on Adelaide street life. This has been Steph with Weasel News, signing off.